I refer to Montreux Jazz Festival as the Rolls Royce of all festivals in the world. It's really a place of musical freedom. People who really, really love music coming together. It starts with that. Being in Montreux, it was like being inside of a dream, but you're awake. A special place for musicians that reach that plateau. The person at the center of this great festival was a crazy guy. Claude Noms brought the whole world to that little town of Montreux. It was very quiet, so he wanted to shake this place. Here is this little kid who certainly didn't know anybody in this business who put this town on the map. Everybody in the world wants to play this festival. It's the most amazing evolution I've ever seen. Opening the festival out to rock bands and away from the purity of jazz, I think was a very important statement to make. Suddenly, Montreux became the mecca of pop and rock. This is the first time that I've uh, played anywhere outside the United States ever, and it's really a gas. I love it. When you went to Montreux, you realized that you were part of this enormous community. He knew that he was living through a special time in the history of arts. So from day one of the festival, he wanted to film those artists. Many people who we count as stars today had their early days recorded by Claude Nobbs. Claude's catalog of videos and recordings had to be one of the greatest treasures of all time. The archive represents a passage of musical culture, some of which doesn't exist anymore. We're gonna have a good time tonight. All these performances will come out and people will see that we did something important. What else can we do but pass it on, man? That's what Claude did, he passed it on. A love story through creation of art.